Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today in this video, we are going to check out the Cognizant's updated hiring process. So this hiring process is as per 18th September 2024. Yes, it means yesterday the test was taken and this is per 18th September. So if you're watching this video today or on any day, this is the latest exam pattern taken from the students, those who have sat in the Cognizant's test because there was a slight change as per uh, their official hiring process. There is a slight change a new section has been added. So in this video, we are going to check out each and every basic detail. So watch the video till the end. And if you have any queries, we will discuss it in the comment section below. So let's start the video. So first of all, I am going to tell you once again, what is the eligibility criteria? So as you can see on my screen, let me just uh, decrease the camera once. Uh, I'll just decrease the camera size. Yes. So this is the eligibility criteria. This is applicable to 2025 batch of specific BE, BTEC, ME, MTEC students. It means all the branches are basically eligible for this drive, but uh, the branches like leather technology, food technology, fashion technology, these are exempted. Okay. Next is consistent academic record with 60% in 10th, 12th and diploma. It means you must have 60% in your class 10th and 12th and as per your diploma or degrees. Like in your BTEC, all the semester mark sheets, when taken on average, it must be more than 60% or at least 60%. Students with standing arrears are not eligible. So if you have any pending uh, compartments or supplies, uh, you are not eligible for this particular drive. You have to clear all the uh, supplies or arrears before entering in this drive. And talking about flexibility to work, it means it can be from any location. You, can, you must be eligible to work from any official location of Cognizant. Okay, at least they will ask you your preferences, but it is as per the company demands, as per the uh, like need of the company. So they will deploy you in any of their branches. And this is open to only Indians. Okay, so let's uh, check out the next thing that is the hiring overview. So this is the hiring overview. So first of all, it starts from the registration part, then it goes to the screening part. It means your resume will get screened. If your resume gets shortlisted, you will be called for the first that is communication assessment yes you will be called for the communication assessment that is the round one we are going to discuss what is communication assessment what is aptitude assessment what is technical assessment in this complete video so keep watching so as soon as you clear your round one that is online round of communication assessment if cleared okay so if this is cleared you will also be called for the uh, aptitude and technical assessment okay so in aptitude assessment there is a new section added that is the gain based section so this video we will focus on that as well next is the technical assessment these both assessments will be taken together okay so both of these assessments will be taken together as round two and it will be completely a online assessment next talking about the offline technical interview now if clear if your this test will be cleared as per your performance in round one and round two you will be shortlisted for Gen C next, Gen C Pro or Gen C Profile. These three are the profile. We will also discuss what is the package uh, that Cognizant is offering. So if your technical assessment and technical interview both are cleared, then you will be getting the letter of intent, which will be a, uh, like basically this is an offer letter only, but it is a letter of intent. Like later on the offer letters are shared. Okay, after your background checks are done. So this is the hiring overview. So let's check out now the first test. That is the, wait a minute. Yes. So let's check out the first, that is the communication assessment. It will be for basically 60 minutes. Section one, section two, and section three. There will be three sections in this test. Uh, as you can see, here is the official screenshot from the Cognizant's GD, JD, the job description. So here it is written, duration is 60 minutes and it will be having three sections, reading and grammar, comprehension and listening and speaking section. So first is reading and grammar. So in this, candidates will be required to read the passages and answer the AI generated questions. It means you have to read a passage and then there will be some questions from those passages. You need to uh, just answer those questions. Responses will be timed and focus on grammar and clarity. Section two will be a comprehension and listening. In this test, your eligibility to listen a passage read by an AI and answer the following question. It means AI will dictate you a passage, dictate you some lines and you have to uh, do some tasks. Your questions will be given to you. Third section, which is the speaking section, it is the most important section where the AI will give you a topic 
there will be a topic you have to think upon that topic and for a certain time like approximate to one and one and a half minute you have to speak on that topic this section is basically the most important why i am saying this because this will focus on your pronunciation vocabulary usage and avoiding fillers this section is critical as it assesses your spoken english skills directly okay and this will also be an elimination round so moving forward that is the aptitude assessment this is for 80 minutes yes this is for 80 minutes the aptitude assessment there will be two sections quantitative aptitude and analytical and logical reasoning we thought there will be overall mcqs okay but as per 18th september's test there is a new section that is the gaming section also okay overall there are two sections only there will be 30 questions that need to be solved in 30 minutes for quantitative aptitude okay later on they will give you a gaming section which will be having like six to seven minutes for each like there will be three to four game based question as like you are uh, it is similar to the cognizant assessment also cognizant is asking game based questions every year but uh, sorry capgemini is asking uh game based questions every year but cognizant has started it this year only okay so in general there will be 30 questions that needs to be solved in 30 minutes for quantitative aptitude in analytical there will be some game based questions like three to four game based questions will be there and you will be having six to seven minutes like either you can have six minutes either you can have seven minutes okay and they will be focusing on your cognitive and thinking based tasks there will be some levels so you need to complete those levels in that game based questions okay uh, certain levels like let us suppose if there are seven levels for a single question so if you solve six levels five levels you will be assessed to that uh, that time also okay so this was about game based section soon we will be sharing you actual questions also in upcoming videos next is the technical assessment that is for 120 minutes okay either this is same as per we have discussed earlier in the video also so section one will be coding questions section two will be query based questions and next will be knowledge mcqs like multiple choice questions will be coming from computer fundamental topics okay but you have to choose there will be three clusters for attempting this particular test okay so let us first discuss about those clusters so these are the official clusters and the, the briefing on that so duration is 120 minutes there are three sections for cluster one same similarly for cluster two and similarly for cluster three also but coding it is different in cluster one you can choose java with database and web ui in cluster 2, there is Python with database and cloud fundamental MCQs will be asked. In uh, third cluster, there will be C sharp and database and web UI uh, questions will be asked. So you can choose any of the three cluster as per your uh, knowledge, as per your proficiency. The cluster you will choose, they will ask you question based on that technology. Like if you choose cluster one, then you can solve the coding questions only and only in Java. You cannot solve in any other language and there will be database type questions and next coding will be based on web ui also like html css javascript coding questions you will also get okay if we talk about second cluster here is the python you you will be asked some python question the database will be same but uh, like cloud uh, fundamental mcqs will be asked not uh, html css javascript okay in third section uh, like third cluster coding will be through c sharp database will be same and next coding question will be asked based on web ui so these are the three clusters and total time will be 120 minutes as we have discussed i think this much is clear and this technical assessment will be an elimination round if you will get shortlisted then only you will be called for the technical interview now okay so lastly, the final step would be your technical interview. This would be the uh, like uh, the final step in the hiring process. And this will be getting deep dive into computer fundamentals, coding language, data skills, and cloud technologies as per your resume. Okay. Now talking about the job offerings, as we discussed in the first slide, there are three, uh, like uh, in the hiring overview, we discussed there are three different profiles. So first profile is Gen C Next with the high, highest package of 6.75 LPA. Next is Gen C Pro with 5.4 LPA and next is Gen C with the 4 LPA package. Okay, and designation for first two profiles is Program Analyst and designation for Gen C profile is Program Analyst Training. So these are the three profiles. Okay, 
So these are some mandatory documents for registration. Like you need a resume with your latest passport size photograph attached. If you have done any certification, you must upload that as well. All your college mark sheets, your 10th, 12th mark sheets, your college ID card, PAN card is mandatory. Passport or voter ID card is mandatory to show you, uh, like show that you are an Indian citizen. Okay, at the time of onboarding. So if you don't have any of those, so please apply for passport or please apply for voter ID card. Any one is mandatory. So these were the things that we need to discuss in today's video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, any queries are there, please mention in the comment section below. Or if you want to talk with our mentors, the mentors calling numbers are also provided in the below uh, description box. You can just check out. If you want to prepare for Cognizant, Talent Battle is always there to help you out. We are running with our masterclass courses and a lot of students are taking a good help and getting placed in multinational companies with the help of our masterclass. Okay, the link for the masterclass has also been given, be given below and uh, prices are also uh, very much affordable. So please check out that as well. See if you need anything uh, to ask, you can men mention down below or you can just call us. Thanks for watching. Thank you.